All right, you know that saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that treasure may actually just be a work of art. So let's get back out to QC Live, Cheryl Brayboy, who is at Upcycle Arts this morning. Cheryl, tell us more. Hey guys, yeah, we're gonna start with paint chips this morning. You know, when you're trying to paint your house, you're not sure which color and the painter brings all of these different samples. Well, these have been donated, huh, Angela? Absolutely, we've got boxes of these from interior designers who <laughs> use them for your house. Very cool, okay, so what are we gonna make first? Um, so we're gonna make a garland first using these paint chips. So you're just gonna cut out a couple in whatever color you want, super simple. Gonna wrap it around, grab your stapler, and then just staple it shut to make our little garland. Okay, very cool. Is that one stuck there? This one is. <laughs> All right, check your stapler <laughs> first. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then you just wrap this one Exactly. Around. And you can use whatever color for whatever occasion you're using. And look how cute these are. Okay, that was very cute. And so this is just like a decoration for a birthday party, that kind of thing? Exactly. Birthday party, whatever occasion. It's still fun for your house. It is fun. It's fun <laughs> for the kids. Get the kids involved exactly. as well. Exactly. Okay, use and that up way those paint chips. You don't have to buy the garland from the store. You use the recycled products. Exactly. Very good. Okay, so that is the garland. Very fun. I'm very excited by this next craft. We are making a mosaic. And so I want to show you guys some of the supplies because these, again, have been donated to Upcycle Arts. Uh, I was really kind of struck by some of these items. Okay, so these, you said these are beads. They look like buttons, but they're actually beads. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. I'm going to grab some of those. Which ones, what do you like, Angela? Um, <laughs> I'm going to grab some of these little glass pieces we have here. Okay, those are pretty. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've got a few other things over here. I'm going to grab your board as well. And talk to us about this mosaic. Yeah, so the thing that's fun about mosaic is you can use a bunch of different items. You know, we all think of the clay tile mosaic, but it doesn't have to be that. And that's kind of what we specialize in, is like trying to get you to think outside of the box. Mm -hmm. um, all so right. So I have, we've chosen a few other items as well. Mm -hmm. These are the keys from a keyboard, from either a computer or a typewriter, which I love. My mom used to be a business teacher, but she also taught typewriting back nice. in the day. <laughs> so this reminds me of her. Absolutely. Okay, and then you have some Scrabble pieces yes, here. Yes, I grabbed some Scrabble tiles because they're just super fun. Okay. All right, and we've got our glue gun. Yeah, absolutely. And now you're just kind of arranging them however you want on our surface. We're using, again, donated tile. Okay, um, just a little glue sample. on the Yep, back. just a little bit of glue and you stick it wherever you want. What does this do for you? Because you, you know, you went out on the limb a little bit starting Upcycle Arts. It's just so fun to see how people react to the materials. Mm -hmm. Everyone is drawn to a different thing and yeah. everyone has a different idea. If you give everyone the same materials, no one will come back with the same project. Mm -hmm. And that's just so fun <laughs> for it's, me to see and explore. It's just stoking that creativity. You were telling me as well that you noticed that there were a lot of sort of recycled entities between here and Raleigh, but there hadn't been anything like this in the Charlotte area. Yeah, absolutely. We've got a Creative Reuse Center two hours every cardinal direction from Charlotte and before us there was nothing here so it's nice to be able for one Charlotte to catch up and you know there's such a vibrant creative scene here so it's exciting to be able to provide them with a really unique experience that they may not have seen previously so how does it work if folks are watching and they're kind of like hey this seems cool I have a little bit of creative energy I want to get the whole family involved maybe they're budding artists out there how does it work for them um, well we do shop by appointment so you can go on our website and make an appointment to come and see the space you don't have to buy anything if you just want to check out and see what we have here um, so you can do that for our shopping donations go through that as well we do get a lot of donations from individuals um, and we do lots of community programming as well, so you can always check our website for our upcoming events. Very cool. We're going to keep working on these mosaics. We want to show you as well, this is the vinyl that we began, and you <laughs> mentioned that we can just maybe, you could just hide it, you know, kind yeah. of hang it on a door, on a wall, something like that, adding a little texture to your life. Mary Kristen, back to you guys. Oh, very cool, Cheryl. Thank you so much. I mean... All the ideas, right?